So the lesson today is about quadratic factoring. So we are going to learn today a new method called AC method. So this method is used to factor uh, quadratic expression ax squared plus bx plus c with the leading coefficient different than one. So the main concept of this method is uh, direct factoring. So please review direct factoring uh, in order for you to understand this method. So uh, so let me put the title. So we are going to learn AC method for factoring. So uh, how this method works? So let's uh, let's pick. Let's get uh, let's a x square plus b x plus c b quadratic expression with leading coefficient different than 1 will be a quadratic expression with a different than 1 all right so how we are going to factor uh, this uh, type of expression so uh, in in fact the idea behind the AC method is to transform this expression into an expression with leading coefficient equal to one so that's the idea this is what we call it AC because we multiply a by C so first transform A x square plus b x plus c into x square plus b x plus a c. What you do here, you multiply a by c. So you like you move a to c. So, but keep in mind, you see, we multiply here because we can we are going to use the reverse operation after we factor so keep in mind the first steps you multiply a with c so you end up having what having a uh, quadratic expression with leading coefficient equal to one so now what i do we are going to use the concept of uh, direct factoring so first what we do we find out the discriminant b square minus for AC. Now, if the discriminant is perfect square, you go for it. So you factor. If it's not perfect square, you cannot factor. You see here, I'm using the concept of the direct factoring. So uh, if D is not perfect square, so uh, we cannot use we cannot use AC method now if it's perfect square so what we do if D is perfect square So what we do, we look for two number. So we look, we find two number. P and Q, such that what do we have? P plus Q is B, and P times Q is AC. When you find out those two, what you do, you write down this expression as so it's become what uh, x square plus p x plus c will be equal to x plus p times x plus q. So this is the first steps you do. But remember, we multiply a by c. So I need to do the reverse operation in order for me to factor this 
uh, expression keep in mind we just factor okay here is AC we just factor only that expression but this expression is not the same thing as that one we use that steps to make our life easy so this is exactly what we did we multiply here because we use a concept that we learned before now I need to get back to my expression that I want to factor so here I multiply by uh, a so I'm gonna look for what here which one of those number P and Q is divisible by a so check which of the number P and Q is divisible by A. So when you find which one divisible by A, let's suppose, so we just assume, assume P is divisible by A. So what will happen? So we write down this statement in this form. So we'll have a x squared plus b x plus c will be equal to x plus p times x plus q because a is divisible p is divisible by a so I divide p by a and multiply the other x which is not on the same expression as p which is the expression as q by a if q is divisible by a you do the same idea you divide q by a and multiply the other x by a so it's the same the same concept we just assume that p is divisible by a just to show you what you should do so that's the main idea yes of course there is special case so we will see those special case those special case in an, in an example but the main concept is this so you use the direct factory and after that what you do, you check which one of the numbers is divisible by A, and you do that, uh, that, uh, that steps. So let's do an example to see how it works. So that's, let's do pick an example. So let's factor this uh, expression, for example. 5x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, again, before I do any steps, let me check my discriminant if it's uh, a perfect square or not. So, I will have p squared minus 4ac. So, here is uh, it's 2 squared minus 4 times. 5 times minus 3 so which is going to be 4 plus 60 which is 64 and 64 is 8 square so it's a perfect square so which means I can factor using uh, AC method so now what is my second steps I multiply 5 by 3 so I will have now I'm going to factor so you factor now x squared plus 2x minus minus 15 and use the you you is minus 15 two number So it's more easier. Try to check those because that you sure as always start with those two number. So minus five times three. So check if you see the work. Uh, keep uh, uh, I'm skin which is here fifteen. So here I will end up having uh, 2, and this is minus 2. Uh, 
we're right. That's the price of those two. So it's going to be x five times. And so my square plus two lines to divide here by five because that's the only one divisible by five times here by five x plus x minus three and this one my okay okay let's do another a factor in doubt my discriminant so a square times a C, which is minus 7 square so this is my B this is my A this is my C so minus 4 times 6 times minus 3 so which 49 yes plus 72 which is 121 which is 11 square so this is a perfect square which means I can use the AC method so now, what I do now, I multiply 6 with 3, so I will end up having x squared minus 7x minus 18. Now, I'm going to try to factor this using uh, direct factoring. So I'm going to look for two number p plus q equal minus 7, and p times q and p times q equal uh, minus 18. Like I say, always check those two. It may work. If they don't work, then uh, do the other factor. So let me check those two. So we have here 6 times minus 3. And we have minus 6 times 3. So if I add those two, I got 3, and this is 3 minus 3 so I'm looking for minus 7 so now I try to factor the rest so 1 minus 18 minus 1 18 2 minus 9 minus 2 9 if you can see it early that 2 and 9 will work then just do it don't you have to you don't have to write down the whole thing so I just write down the whole thing for uh, to be known by everyone so I just need to show you the steps here is minus 17 this is 17 this is minus 7 and this is 7 so of course this one will work for me so now what I do I factor this so this will be x squared minus 7x minus 18 will be the same thing as x minus 9 times x plus 2. All right. Remember, we multiply by 6. I'm going to say, okay, which one of those two is divisible by 6? None of them is divisible by 6. So that's the idea. So if none of them is divisible by 6, what do you do? I'm going to factor 6. 6 is what? Is 3 times 2. So which one is divisible by 3? 9 is divisible by 3. So I multiply this one by 3. I multiply the other x by 3. And this one is divisible by 2. I divide this one by 2. I multiply the other x by 2. So the final answer for that factory, so we'll have 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 will be equal to x minus 9x plus 
Two. Then I do my idea here. So here I divide by three. I multiply the other x by three. Here I divide by two. I multiply the other x by two. So which means at the end, my final answer will be two x minus three times three x plus one. So this is how we factor that type of how we factor the type of uh, expression. So uh, let's pick another uh, example. So for example, I want to factor uh, uh, 3x square uh, plus uh, 7x plus 4, for example. So uh, here, what I do, I first find my discriminant, so which is p squared minus 4 times ac, which is 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times uh, 4, so which is 49 plus uh, minus and uh, 48, which is 1, so this is perfect square because equal to 1 uh, square. Now I know that I can use the AC method here, so what I do next, I multiply 3 with 4, so I got x squared plus 7x uh, plus 12. So I'm going to look for two number p plus q equals 7 and p times q equal 12. So here I'm going to see all the factor of uh, uh, 12. So it's going to be 1 and 12 minus 1 minus 12, 2 and 6 minus 2 minus 6. 3 and 4, minus 3 and minus 4. Now I add. So I got 13, minus 13, 8, minus 8, 7, minus 7, and this will work for me. So what I do next, so x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals x plus 3 times x plus 4. Now, which was divisible by 3? That number is divisible by 3. So my final answer for my question, 3x squared plus 7x plus 4 will be equal to, so x plus 3 times x plus x plus 4. Now I divide 3 by 3 and multiply the other x by 3. So the final answer will be x plus 1 times 3x plus 4. So that's the idea behind how to factor ax squared plus bx plus c using ac method. So I hope that you understand the idea. And please, any comment that will help me improve my way of teaching, it's welcome. Thank you for watching the video, and Salaam Alaikum.